Hi, I'm Kara Hart, and I have on my desk paper pole reinforcements, um, a bag of tea, ink that is brown, ink that is blue, and a little stamp that's decorative. And the reason I have the Bigelow tea is because we're going to use that to dab into the ink. So what do you want as your back layer? Okay, so in my case, I want the blue as the back layer, like this, and my tea bag will do that for me. So let's grab the tea bag, open up the blue, and I don't know how to do anything clean. Um, if your tea bag has this little bottom like this, you will get a great texture with it. And so that's what I'm hoping for. So I'm just going to dab it like you guys dab everything else, you know, with those little color things. And you can see it doesn't pick up 100% of the ink. And I am cool with that. And so I am just randomly going to apply it. And some will look different than others. I just want to make sure a little ink is on each one. All right, that's good. Look how fast we're going to do this project. And so it's easier for me when the brown's like this to just ink it like that. Do I care if it's a perfect stamp? No, because all I really want to do is get a little visual interest on it. Now, for those of you who have to have things be precise. This is not your craft, and I am not a precise person. Let's add a little more ink. Isn't it fun to just play for a couple of minutes? This would be one of those couple of minutes crafts. Let's do our second one back in. And you can do a bunch of these. Um, at Dollar Tree, I know they sell these whole reinforcements. Let's go sideways this way. Make sure everyone has just a smidgen. And <laughs> it's funny, I always miss one. Do you see how there's like, there's a smidgen, smidgen, smidgen. This guy, he's there, but he's barely there. So let's just make him a little happier. Put a little more love there. There we go. All right, and voila. Five minutes to have a good looking whole reinforcement. Now, you're asking yourself, well, is this really all that good? Well, I'm gonna use the side of my tea bag to get rid of the excess ink. And if it blurs a little, that's fine. I don't really care. Let's use the other side of the tea bag. That way when I pick it up later, the ink doesn't get on my fingers because I really am the messiest crafter. Messy cook, messy crafter. Bam, looks good. And this would be great in a Happy Mail if you were sending a Happy Mail. And it's nice when you do two colors, adds a little depth. You could add a little more if you want to. But each one of these, let's go ahead and change from having a matching hole reinforcement on this one to one that's a little less matching and I wanted to have contrast so I chose one a little more white and now you see how cool each one is going to be unique. Alright, thanks for watching.